Hey everybody, Dr. Hector Chapa here. I'm a board certified OBGYN physician and I'm the clerkship director for the OBGYN clerkship at Texas A&M University College of Medicine. I'm gonna give you three clinical pearls on how to be successful during your OBGYN clerkship. All right, everyone, your first clinical pearl has to do with labor and delivery, and you cannot leave the OBGYN clerkship without knowing the three stages of labor, and you're gonna be asked about it, so here they are. The first stage of labor is from zero to 10 centimeters, but it actually has two phases. The latent phase, which can be unpredictable, and then the active phase, which is a little bit more predictable. The active phase of labor is from six centimeters up to 10 centimeters. Then comes the second stage of labor. That's the actual birth of the child. The duration of the second stage of labor depends on whether it's the patient's first delivery or subsequent delivery and whether or not she has an epidural in place. Then comes the third stage of labor. That's placental delivery or expulsion. While most placentas deliver within about five to seven minutes, a prolonged third stage of labor is anything longer than 30 minutes. Now here's your final clinical pearl about the third stage of labor. The placenta can expel by one of two mechanisms. If the shiny fetal surface, that's the surface that the baby sees where the umbilical vessels are visible, that's called the shiny side. That is the Schultz mechanism. However, if the placenta expels showing the beefy red cotyledons, meaning the maternal surface, that's called the dirty side. And that's called the Duncan mechanism. Shiny Schultz, dirty Duncan.